and welcome to this Roll-On Tech Talk. I'm Jacob, an engineer at Roll-On. And I'm Dom, senior engineer for heavy RTU systems at Roll-On. In this video, we are going to discuss Roll-On's elevated RTU systems and how we can provide customized solutions for your production floor. Now, Dom, we offer a wide range of floor and subfloor mounted RTUs, but what about elevated solutions? So most RTUs are floor mounted. However, some applications or layout constraints benefit from elevated RTU systems. We offer multiple configurations of elevated RTUs, such as gantry mounted horizontal and vertical orientations, wall mounts, and inverted systems. Do we provide the support structures and frames for these elevated systems? Yes, we fabricate the steel structures here in Western Michigan to mount elevated RTUs. We engineer custom gantries and supports to fit around plant layouts and to best position RTUs for specific applications. So what scenarios are elevated RTU systems best for? Elevated RTUs are much more suitable than floor-based RTUs in three major cases. What's the first? The first is space-limited locations. On a cramped plant floor, elevated RTUs can be placed above the existing machines with the legs between them to keep floor space clear. For conveyors, elevated RTUs can provide pick and place or palletization while leaving the conveyor layout on the floor unchanged and providing floor space for forklifts and people. An elevated system can also keep the robot up and out of the way of the workers on the plant floor. This can be a big deal because moving equipment or changing the layout of a plant floor to fit a floor mounted RTU can be expensive and time consuming. Okay, for situations where space is at a premium, What's the second scenario? For applications where elevated robots are a requirement or a major advantage. So for overhead press tending applications, elevated systems allow a robot to reach into the press from the top. For paint and weld applications, an elevated RTU can allow a robot to reach more areas of a part. And for transferring large work pieces where elevated systems can provide the best method of transport across the plant. Okay, what's the third scenario where elevated RTUs are beneficial? So elevated systems are also best for applications where a robot and RTU should be moved away or kept away from some kind of contamination. For example, salt spray machines, chemical baths, and other corrosive processes can be tended with an elevated system while keeping the robot and RTU away from the contaminants that would settle on a floor mount system. So what's the standard elevated RTU system that we provide? The RTUW is our standard wall mount unit. This can carry a Kawasaki BX200L or a FANUC M710 up to speeds of 3 meters per second. And at slower speeds, it can support a Kawasaki MX700-350 or a FANUC M900-360 robot or about 3,000 kilogram payload. And we provide legs to any appropriate size and configuration for a customer. And these can be provided for any plant environment? Yep, we've got them available for a clean room, wash down, and explosion proof environments. For maintenance, we provide an auto loop system with a single point distribution located at a leg for easy access for maintenance. And our millwright team can provide installation if requested. Okay, so that covers our elevated steel RTU systems. How about our smaller units? For moving smaller robots, we offer aluminum frame RTUs. Those actuators can move robots up to 140 kilograms, and rack and pinion actu actuators can move robots up to 1500 kilograms. Information on our RTUs is available on my roll-on. From there, you can also contact an engineer and download CAD files for all of our RTU systems. All right, thanks, Tom. If you'd like to know more about how to integrate a 7th axis system with a robot to optimize your production floor, check out the white paper linked in the description below. And make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to see our tech talks as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching.